Hey guys, Tierra here with Dot Girl Fitness, and today's video is all about my residency schedule. So for those of you who saw my video a few weeks back about me revealing my residency specialty, you all know pretty much by this point that I'm a pediatrics resident and I'm in my first year or my intern year. At my residency program, each year is sectioned off into one month long rotations or blocks. Within that one month block, you are set up with a team. Each resident within that team that is an intern covers a specific number of patients and we are all supervised by one upper level resident who is typically a third year resident. And even though each of us is covering a specific number of patients on the list, that upper level resident knows about every single patient on that list. In addition to us being supervised by an upper level resident, all of the residents are supervised by a supervising physician who we refer to as an attending. This team tends to get very close to each other because you're spending a lot of time together and you really have to work together as a team to make sure that all of the patients that you all are covering are taken care of. In addition to the patients that you split up amongst each other at the beginning of the rotation, as new patients come into the service and other patients are discharged, based on the specific day of the week, each member of the team will go through a process of admitting different patients onto the list as well. Now that we know what each month looks like, let's break it down by week. Depending on the rotation, you may work one week of nights or one week in which you're working from 7 p.m. to around 6.30 or 7 a.m. And the other three weeks, you're working the day shift. At my institution, interns do not take call, so I don't have call this year, but instead, on weeks that I'm not working the night shift, when I am working the day shift, I am either working a short stay day or a late stay day. Depending on the week, you typically work about half and half short stay days and late stay days, but the schedule for the night shift is always 7 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. Now that we know a little bit about each week, and we also know that the night shift doesn't change day by day, we can start to get into the specifics of the day shift schedule because that is the one that changes day to day. On short stay days, I get there in the morning and I meet up with my team. We all go over the list together with the night shift team who just signed out to us. And then after sign out, we all go our separate ways, see our patients, check in with them, see how they did overnight, review all of their labs and their vital signs, and then start to culminate a list of things that we think should be included in the plan for the day. After this, we usually have morning report. Morning report is a conference in which all of the residents on campus, regardless of year, all meet together, which we're now doing over Zoom. And throughout this conference, we go over signs and symptoms associated with a patient case in which we try to discern what a patient's diagnosis is based off of their presentation and whatever questions we ask. And then afterwards, we talk about it. This lasts about an hour, and then once it's complete, the team meets back up together and we go on rounds with the supervising physician. During rounds, each of us presents our respective patients to the supervising physician and the upper level resident. We talk about what we learned overnight about how the patient did. We explain to them what labs and vital signs are pertinent to their care right now. We let them know if any new labs or new imaging came in. And then after that, we talk to them about what we think the plan should be for the day. If the upper level resident and the supervising physician agree, then we go forward with the plan. Usually because they are so much more knowledgeable about these patients and about medicine in general, they will also help us add to the plan and help us come up with a plan that best treats the patient and gets them one step closer to a date where they can be discharged. Then we go in and we speak to the patient and typically also their parents because we are in pediatrics. We let them know what the plan is for the day and we make sure we address any concerns or questions they may have about that plan. We do this for all of the patients and then after that we make whatever phone calls we need to make, we place whatever orders need to be placed, and then we head off to noon conference. Noon conference is typically done in a lecture style and right now it's also being performed over Zoom. In this noon conference, all residents are learning the same lecture and it's typically covering some pediatric topic that could possibly be covered on our future board exams. This information is also not just relevant for board exams but also tells us different techniques and different ways that we can be the best kind of physicians for our patients. During noon conference, all of the residents are eating in their respective socially distant locations. And then once again, the team meets up in the afternoon to run the list or go through all of the patients and see what has been done on the plan already and what else needs to be done for the day on the plan. And if you are a short stay person for the day, then you stay until you get your work done or about four o'clock typically. 
On late stay days, you do the exact same thing. The only difference is if there are patients that are coming from the emergency center or as direct admits from clinic, then those patients who need to be admitted would be admitted by that late stay person. The late stay person also receives a sign out around four o'clock whenever the residents covering the short stay shifts leave for the day. They will sign out their patients to the late stay person who will then be covering the patients who are already on the list as well as admitting anybody else who comes to the list before around 6.30 p.m. By around 6.30 p.m., the late stay person is gathering all of the information about every single patient, making sure that everything is put together and up to date in a sign out format. And by 7 p.m., the person who is covering the night shift for the week will then receive sign out from the person who has stayed as a late stay person throughout the day shift. As I mentioned earlier, there are about two to three short stay days and two to three late stay days. And on the days that you are a short stay resident, at least one day out of that week, you will also have a half day of clinic in the afternoon. This means that you will go to the hospital in the morning, see your patients, and then after lunchtime, you will drive to an offsite location or clinic and get your clinical experience in. Regardless of the rotation throughout the year, there will always be at least one day out of each week where you go to clinic, unless you're on night shift and then that week you don't go to clinic. And each week of work lasts either five to six days a week with either one or two days off per week. The attending or supervising physician on the team switches out every single week. So at the end of each week, we receive a formal evaluation from that supervising physician. And that formal evaluation is just a way to let each resident know how they can improve as a physician. My first rotation of intern year was pediatric hospital medicine. I just finished that rotation about one week ago and now I'm on nephrology. So far, I'm really loving the variety of patient care I get to be involved with, and it's really impactful to be able to learn from world-renowned faculty and staff. As I continue on in this journey, I can't wait to show you more and more every step of the way. And speaking of that, make sure to tune in next week to see my day in the life video where I take you all with me into the hospital and show you what a day in the life is like on the pediatric hospital medicine rotation, which I just finished last week. But as for this video, that's pretty much it guys. So in the meantime, make sure to like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments about anything. And if you like videos on medicine, lifestyle, and fitness, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.